to Sandy Sets. Today I'm doing a review of the GoGo -Go Smart Wheels Race and Play Adventure Park. So this toy comes with this entire adventure park that you see here as well as this car. And so the first thing I'm going to start off with is durability. Something I have a trouble with with the entire VTEC line and we have several of their toys is that although it's like durable VTEC plastic that once the toys are actually put together they're very wobbly and they're not super super stable so when the cars fall and I'm going to show you in a second when the cars come down they tend to wobble a lot and with this toy in particular if it's not this specific car for example if you were to put the fire truck on here it's going to fall right off so this car makes it fine, but if your child were to try to use a car like the racetrack, the fire truck, it would fall right off. And all of the VTEC GoGo Smart Wheels are like that across the board. Like they're just not um, super durable when it comes to like the cars actually being on them. And I find that a lot of cars get stuck in different places on all the sets across the board, but in particular this one. Is this toy easy to assemble? So I did not assemble this one personally, but based on all of the reviews that I have read for what this is, this is a pain to assemble. And I do know that with all of the rest of the GoGo -Go Smart Wheels, that it has been not easy to get the parts together or take them apart once you want to take them apart and it's just way more complicated than what it needs to be and way more complicated than what it is. So the assembly on this one is not great. The dimensions of this toy. So this toy is huge, which is why we won't be keeping it. So as you can see, it's sitting on a four foot table. So it's about three and a half feet wide, um, a foot deep and about two feet tall. Um, this sucker is huge and it takes up a lot of space in our playroom. Um, and a lot of the GoGo -Go Smart Wheels are like that, but with our other ones, we can take some of the pieces off and put them like in a plastic tub or like I have two sets in our toy box right now and we're able to store those fine. But if you don't have a playroom or if you don't have a lot of storage space, I definitely don't feel like this toy gets um, as much use for the amount of space that it takes up. So some other toys that we have that take up a lot of space are like the VTEC Digi Art Table or the Sit and Stand Learn Table. Those are out year round all the time because the kids play with them. But this is a toy that my kids get bored with and it's one that I want to rotate out of our playroom and then bring back in. And it just takes up too, too much space and there's not really a good place for me to store it. So for that, I don't really care for this toy. Obviously this toy doesn't require a ton of cleaning. It would be super easy to clean if I wanted to clean it. I could just take a Clorox wipe to it. So that is good, super easy to clean. Um, this toy says it's geared for 18 months to five years old. I have a three year old, she just turned three, and I have a four year old and my three year old enjoys it. My four year old also enjoys the GoGo -Go Smart Wheels, but he doesn't enjoy this set as much because basically when I started buying GoGo -Go Smart Wheels, I thought they would replace train tracks for us. And these don't because once this set is together, it doesn't come apart and that's really a pain. So even when you have the other sets or if you have an expansion pack, you can't really, they can't really change them the way that they are. I'm gonna show you how this toy works and they really do think that this is cool. So basically, um, you start with the car down here at the bottom and you crank this lever and it brings the car up to the top. It dumps the toy up off of the top, twists around, hooks into the catapult where you pull this lever and it'll shoot it over to the corkscrew. And then it loops around the side, which my kids think my kids think that is really cool, but they'll play with it for like 15, maybe 20 minutes and then let it go. The most fun that they get out of these sets of toys is taking all the tracks and putting them together and like building the actual track. But the thing I find with these toys is that they don't, that the cars don't go up and go up and down a lot. Like you have to take them off of one set to the other set. You can't connect the sets together and then make them run up and down each of the other sets because all of these sets are tall. I hope that makes sense. Um, so they set say that they were together, but they don't. If you're picturing putting all of the sets together and just having the cars run around your living room, in my experience, that's not what's going to happen. If you're looking for that kind of thing, magic tracks are the thing you want to go with. I definitely feel like, um, the Magic Track toys were a better fit, even though that they are a little bit of an older toy and you have to be a little bit more hands-on with your kids. I feel like Magic Tracks are the cars that 
I feel like Magic Tracks are a better option and pretty comparable in price. Are the kids learning from this toy? So these toys are marketed to be a learning toy. This one in particular, it says it teaches the kids the letter G. It's got different songs. Um, this obviously is a smart wheel and it has smart points throughout the toy. So once it hits the specific smart point, he sings a specific tong song, but do the kids actually learn from it? No, I don't really think so. I think that's like a gimmicky part of the GoGo Smart Wheels. Um, my kids do learn quite a bit from different VTEC toys, just not this set in particular. Does it eat batteries? No, these toys are actually pretty good on batteries. These take three AAAs. We've had several of these toys that have had the same AAA batteries in there for two or three years now, and we haven't had to change them yet. How many years will my kids get to play with out of this toy? So when I buy a toy that is, um, I like to get a full year's worth out of play. So when we buy a toy, I like my kids to play with it for at least 12 months. Um, with this toy, it would probably be something we'd keep for like 12 months, but I don't think they would play with it as much as we'd like to. And from, if I bought it at 18 months, I definitely think my kids would, I don't think my kids would play with them up to five years. I think if you started buying them around 18 months, they'd probably last you about two or three. And then your kids would be ready to upgrade, would be getting ready to upgrade to something else. Um, but I will say that my kids never did get super into trains and my kids are more about building and putting the tracks together and that type of thing and not so much the wow factor of the toys shooting down and looping. So um, overall, I'm kind of iffy on this toy. One to ten, I would give it a five. Um, I definitely, it's not my favorite of the VTEC toys. Um, I definitely would not repurchase it and I definitely would not buy this as a gift. If you have any comments, any questions, please comment down below and let me know. If you are new, thanks for stopping by. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.